Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your Who's Coming Towards You Oracle of Love reading. This will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to have a look and see who's coming in for a romantic connection. I do want to say thank you for joining the channel. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to receive notifications of any themed love, career or bonus readings which are upcoming on my channel. Um, otherwise, let's get into it, Libra, and have a look and see who is potentially coming in around you um, and what we can learn about them. Now, I must mention this reading will have an extended version which will explore the connection in more detail what you can expect, what this person could potentially be offering, etc. Via uh, available via the link below. Otherwise, let's have a look and see. Okay, this person is coming up with the Priestess of Intellect. Okay, quite powerful, quite a strong-minded uh, individual coming in. Potentially highly intellectual, witty, smart. I think they're a great conversator. They could be quite academically inclined. I feel like they have a love of learning, maybe. Uh, but they also could be deeply wise. Uh, there is a fish here, so they could have Piscean influence, um, Piscean qualities. The dates August 5th to September 1st um, could be significant around this person. Uh, they could have Leo traits, they could have maybe Virgo traits here, so um, this could be significant around this person, but I feel like you do have someone quite strong-minded. Um, I sense that this person is quite peaceful, quite rational, quite calm, uh, Libra, so I do feel like they would be a great complement to you uh, actually here. So, I mean, this is quite significant. I feel like they're adaptable, my fish is adaptable. Uh, I feel like they could be quite creative. They could have intuitive abilities. They could definitely be very, very empathetic as well. Okay, let's see what else we can learn. Libra about this person here. Okay, let's start off. Page of Swords here. Could be someone younger than you. Page of Swords can be someone who's quite in their mind a lot. Um, it can be someone who tries to really understand things. So I do feel like you have someone who's genuinely quite inquisitive or would, would make quite an inquisitive, caring partner. Um, I feel like this comes from their curiosity to want to understand things or learn things. Sometimes this person can be a little bit unrealistic at times. But that would sort of coincide. The fish can be a little bit unrealistic. You know, it's, it's the dreamer of the zodiac. So... Maybe this person um, has that sort of escaping dream-like quality to them, but could be younger in months or years. The star card could point to a destined connection, possibly someone with Aquarian traits or under the sign of an Aquarius. Um, the star card can be someone who's in the public eye, can work with media, writing, influencing, be on social media, um, sort of be known in the community. It could, it could definitely be someone you know or will connect with online or at a distance. Uh, the star card does have a lot of pictures uh, of fish. Again, the images of the fish, Pisces, the water bearer being the Aquarian. I do feel like this is someone quite confident or they at least portray themselves as with quite a confident energy. Um, I don't feel like they have a nervous energy about them. I do feel like they are quite confident in their own skin. Could be destined to be in the public eye, but they could also work with healing, uh, the healing arts, medicine, spirituality, remedies, maybe naturopath or home remedies. They could be really big on those things as well, Libra. Now, the King of Wands, um, you can see Leo-like energy, Okay, which sort of mentioned here with those dates, can be under the sign of a Leo. Again, a, a confidence, leadership, quite an authoritarian energy to this person. They could be a manager in a company. Um, they could really command the attention of other people. They could be quite protective over their lovers or their people, their friends, family members. They have a leadership quality to, to them. You know, uh, can have a bit of an anger issue, potentially. I mean, not all Leo does, but, I mean, the lion, when it's provoked, it's provoked. So maybe most of the time they keep it under wraps, but they definitely have fire energy under this orange um, coral cloak. There's definitely a red here. So let's see what else we can learn, Libra. Mm 
Okay, two of swords. This person could be a little bit indecisive at times or have multiple gifts or talents, be a bit of a multitasker. Uh, the two of swords can indicate someone who has or might block themselves off to love at this point in time. They might not necessarily be ready for relationships and connections. It could be someone that keeps you at an arm's length here, Libra. So you will definitely have to sort of fight your way in to sort of get to this person. I do feel like they have many admirers, but they've said no to a lot of them. It can indicate someone quite selective, quite picky, okay? But they'll pick you. I think, Libra, you're coming up with lots of swords energy. So I definitely feel like they'll be highly interested in you. Um, there is a moon here, Cancer Qualities, or the sign of Cancer coming up. Um, emotion, it could show someone who's emotionally protective, the moon being here. So, um, you know, this person may retreat into their shell. When it comes to relationships, they could be more vulnerable than they are. But the swords could be someone who's at a bit of a, um, a fork road in their life right now as well. They may be choosing between careers or spiritual paths or faith. Um, you know, they may have two children or two incomes, for example, but they could be juggling multiple things at this one time. Knight of Swords energy. This person could be a speaker. I feel like people listen to them or watch them speak. Again, it could just be they naturally uh, attract a crowd uh, or they work or lead people or motivate. Okay, they could be like an inspirational speaker. Uh, maybe they could try and motivate people or heal people or inform. Could be an informant of some kind. Uh, the Knight of Swords, definitely someone who likes to be in the know. This is not someone who likes to be left in the dark. That definitely doesn't sit well with them. They become cornered and, and, and it's not pretty, Libra. Okay, just warning you now. Um, the bird is here and it's almost, he looks like he's in a stance ready to attack and harm harm the bird. This They could have an argumentative nature. Or maybe they're on the defense. Maybe they work for defense. Maybe they're a lawyer. This would sort of make sense. Could be legal battles of some kind. Or they monitor conversations even. They could be a good speaker, but it could land them into a bit of a trouble sometimes. I feel like they don't always have a filter on what they say, Libra. So I think in some parts this person could be someone um, who's definitely on the defensive here. Next card is the page of, uh, sorry, not the page, the seven of pentacles. Okay, they could work with counting their finances. They could be quite good with money and seeing growth. You can see she's digging up the finances, whether she's digging it, hiding it, or letting letting it grow. They might be good at saving, or they might be involved in stocks or investments, um, but they're quite, quite mature with money or security. I think financial security is quite important. Um, they're definitely quite rational, I think, when it comes to these things. I feel like they're, they're currently reaping the rewards of their career somehow. I don't know if this is through contracts or through businesses, but that could definitely be happening. They like to see growth. They, they're very results driven, I feel. But it more comes to the energy where they like to be updated about what's happening. Okay, Updated on current affairs, updated when it comes to the relationships. They like to be in the know-how. They like to be updated. They need to know information to make an informed decision. That's coming up around them. It could be earth energy. There is what, I mean, it almost looks like a child here or a woman. I mean, it looks like, could definitely look like a child. So this person might be into children or have children or grandchildren, for example. But it's more to do with growth, I feel, the Seven of Pentacles and contemplation they're definitely a thinker, okay, and if they're coming up with that priestess of intellect, and if they are coming up with Aquarian energy, okay, Aquarians are air signs, very much in their mind, um, intellectually quite bright. So I do feel like there is a part of them that's going to keep them on your, that's going to keep them on your toes. Um, sorry, that's going to keep you on your toes, Libra. Sorry, um, or you might keep them on theirs, but it's an element of excitement, and I think go with it. But does sound quite exciting. Uh, we'll be now continuing on with the extended to in explore the kind of connection this person person can offer uh, you. So uh, the link to that will be below. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, and until next time, bye for now.